So Microsoft announced a new internet service today called Live Search Cashback. It offers rebates on items purchased through Microsoft's Live Search engine. I wonder if Microsoft buys Yahoo Search through Live Search Cashback, you think it'll get a discount? Hello, it's Wednesday, May 21st, 2008. I'm John Paczkowski, and this is Digital Daily. My God, Bill Gates really is sharing his fortune, but not with folks who help out with that infamous Microsoft email beta test. He's sharing it with consumers who use Microsoft's live search engine to find and purchase products online. This morning, Microsoft announced Live Search Cashback, a sort of search engine loyalty program that rewards users with rebates on certain purchases of products found through its live.com web search. We want to earn your loyalty and reward it with cashback savings for your everyday online shopping, Microsoft enthuses on the site. We are the search that pays you back. Just how much they pay you back is anyone's guess. How much did you guess? Five hundred? A thousand? Even more? Like Microsoft's hostile bid for Yahoo, this new cashback service is yet another effort to bolster its laggard search service, which has long been a very distant third in the search market. Question is, will it work? Gartner analyst Van Baker says maybe. Said Baker, assuming that the rebate amounts are enough to be appealing to people, they could attract a fair number of consumers. But what those people may do is just go to that site when they're thinking about buying something and use Google the rest of the time. Time Warner, the world's largest media company, soon won't be quite so large anymore. This morning, Time Warner revealed the details of its planned spin-off of Time Warner Cable, a massive transaction that will separate the company's content and distribution businesses once and for all. The deal, which has been approved by both companies' boards, calls for Time Warner Cable to pay a hefty $10.9 billion one-time dividend to shareholders. As parent company, Time Warner will pocket $9.25 billion of that payoff. It's a flashy move for Time Warner's new CEO, Jeff Bukas, who's been hard-pressed to reinvigorate the company's stock price. Now he just has to figure out what the hell to do with AOL. Signs of a slowdown in consumer spending abound, but the Mac faithful appear not to have noticed. According to the most recent data from market firm NPD Group, Apple saw a 50% year-over-year boost in Mac sales in April. That's nearly triple the growth seen in the broader PC market. And that's not all. In notebooks, Apple's sales are growing at twice the market's current rate. Oh, and in personal computers retailing over $1,000, Apple's machines comprise two-thirds of all that were sold during the first quarter. Now granted, the Cupertino, California company only sells one Mac priced below $1,000, the Mac Mini, and its rivals' offerings typically price out in the $599 to $799 range. Still, that two-thirds metric is impressive nonetheless. Oh, finally, in related news, Apple continues to dominate the market for computers with Apple logos. That's it for Digital Daily. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.